Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to episode number 22 of FIFA Career Mode. And today, we begin with our first game of the episode against Foggia. And last time we played them, I believe we won 6-2. So hopefully we can have a repeat of that today. Um, apologies for the lack of episodes over the past week, unfortunately, I was away on school camp. But now I'm back, so everything should be back to normal. Let's get into the game. It's uh, at home today against Foggia. They're sitting 20th with exact... Is, is that half? Yes, I think that is exactly half the amount of points we have this season. So, yeah, hopefully we'll win. It's a bit of a rotated side today, as you can see. Providel keeps his spot in goal though. Sec, Romagnoli, Laperto, and Di Lorenzo in a bit of a different back line. Buglio gets a start. Castagnetti and Della Rocca in midfield along with Rodriguez. And then I think that was Donnarumma and Caputo up top. I'm not quite sure though. But anyway, here is their lineup. It's a 4 3 3 for them. Can't quite remember much from last time we played them. Apart from that, we won 6-2, I think. Do we, I'm pretty sure, maybe it was 5-2, I'm not sure. I think Donnarumma scored a hat-trick, though. So hopefully he can do, no, I think, actually, Artemani, I think, is playing alongside Donnarumma today. No, it's Jakub, it's Jakubovic. No Donnarumma, so there'll be no hat-trick for Donnarumma today, I don't think, unless he comes off the bench. But they're coming inside here, and it's a terrible shot. That should have been a much better effort and in the and it could have been a goal but unfortunately for them he buggered it up there but that's lucky for us but now here's Artemani on the ball holding him off but he, the ref's going to stop play because Della Rocca has gone down and he has got himself injured here and it looks like he's going to have to come off he's holding his knee it doesn't look very good hopefully it's not too bad though but he is going to have to come off right now. And what we're going to do, we're going to bring on Benasser in replace of him. Let's hope that it's not a major injury. But he does fall rather awkwardly on that left knee there. It doesn't look too good. But now Sano receives the ball from that header. Gets past Laporto, gets the shot away. But fortunately for us, he puts it just wide of the left post and now we're coming forward it's poked through for Jakubovic who turns nicely he's got some space to shoot it's not the best of efforts though and it's saved and cleared and that was a good opportunity but it's been wasted but Artemani's through that is a very good ball by Benasser Artemani turns shoots oh my goodness he really should have scored that and the keeper has made a very good save but it was straight at him anywhere else and you'd think it would have been a goal. But now here we come forward again. Buglio getting around his man. Puts a cross into the back stick. Benacer across goal. Oh my goodness, Artemani's he's missed another sitter. That surely should have been put in. As we have a look at the replay, it's actually an extremely good block by the defender to stop the goal in the end. What a block that was. Hopefully we can still get a goal from this corner. It's whipped into the box towards Jakubovic, but it's headed away. And Sek can't get the ball off this dude, Agadzi. No, for Dart. Anyway, here they're coming forward. It's played through for Nicastro. Sek's got to get back. He's beaten. Agazzi's here. He plays it inside. Coletti! Oh, it's in the back of the net. And after all our chances, they've hit us with one up the other end. And it's 1-0 to Foggia. It's a left foot. It's a very good finish in the end. First time on his left foot from Coletti. Not Joe Coletti from Brisbane Raw. His name starts... His name is spelt a little differently. But now they're coming forward again. It's an opportunity. And it's got all the way through to Providel. Thankfully that didn't get a touch on it. Or it may well have been enough to take it past Providel, but there is half time. We trail at the break and it's really not good enough. Let's hope we can come out in the second half and play a lot better. 
because we need to. That was a, a bad display. A few very good opportunities that should have been taken. And they did take theirs. You're going to have to fix that. And here we have a corner to look to do that. Rodriguez gets it played short. He turns his man nicely into the box. The cross is blocked. It's going to get over the other side to Fidato. But he's tackled by Romagnoli, who tries to take it past his man. He, get, he, try, he tries the cross. It's over the back. Sec is going to get there first. He whips it in first time. Artemani's free. And that was well saved again by the keeper. And they managed to work it clear. And now... It's launched over the top. Fidato's going to get there. Providel's coming. He stops. The cross goes in. Oh, my goodness. What an opportunity. He had more time than he thought there. And he's completely buggered up the shot. Now they've hit the crossbar, and it's def on the rebound. It's put in by their big, bald um, player. I don't know who it was, but the shot on the volley... Is the f it hits the crossbar and falls to Fidele, and now we are well behind Castagnetti looking to reduce the deficit, but Pelizzoli saves again. And with just 13 minutes left, we need two goals to pick ourselves a point from this game. Rodriguez is going to whip it in. Caputo heads it, but it's straight at the keeper. And Pelizzoli saves again, and now it's the 90th minute, and it looks like that we're going to be picking up no points from this game. And there is the final whistle, and Kiavari, who were on equal points with us before this game, you'd think would have now overtaken us due to this poor performance. But Pelizzoli did surely got man of the match there, helping his team keep that clean sheet with. Um, a mul multiple fine saves. But thankfully, we get extremely lucky and Kiavari also lost. But as you might have seen there, Della Rocca has done his a ACL and is going to be out for seven months, I think it said. And that is not good news at all. But now we're going to head into the second match of the episode against Navarra. Let's hope we can have a better result today. It's away from home, but it's in the daytime. Hopefully we can perform better under the sun rather than under the lights. But we'll have to see. Um, we do need to perform a lot better than that game against Foggia, though. That was a terrible performance. The finishing wasn't up to scratch. And another loss will surely not see us keep our spot in second. But Navarra, a decent side. Let's see if we can come away with the victory against them. They've got a 5-3-2. Makeda, their number 10, starts today. We, he's on our short list. Maybe someone we might look to bring in. We'll have to wait and see, though. Um, maybe on a pre-contract deal is what we're looking at. But today... There has been a, quite a few changes. Providel loses his place in goal to Terracciano. Hefty replaces Romagnoli, and the whole defence has changed. Back to normal defence, except Hefty comes in for Romagnoli. And it's, as you might expect, in midfield and up top with Caputo and Donnarumma returning to the side, along with our normal midfield diamond. And he, here we go. Can we come away with the three points today? Lolo... Oh, wow. Well. It's a corner. Into the box. Great save by Terracciano, but it's headed in. And just 19 minutes in, Troest, their centre-back, gives Navarra a 1-0 lead. It's a very good save, this, from Terracciano. But unfortunately, Troest had the jump on our defenders, and he finds the back of the net. And now we're 1-0 down, and it's really not looking good at all. And they're coming forward again. It's Makeda back to Orlandi. Inside, I don't want to try and pronounce that name. Is great save by Terracciano, though. 
to stop them from taking a 2-0 lead. And now we're just a minute away from half-time. Cleared um, kind of off the line, more from like a bit out of off the line by the Navarra players. And we trail at the break by one goal to nil. And it's really not been a good performance from us in today's episode. We're going to change it up a bit, go for the 4 triple two formation. Lolo and Navias will be our attacking midfielders, as well. Creco and Castagnetti will be our defensive midfielders. And as you might expect, apart from that. But here we go, we're coming forward. Can we get something here? Sacco turns his man nicely. Sacco turns his man again. Sacco puts the cross in. Caputo, oh my goodness. And he's put it over with the header. If only he was a bit taller. Now we're coming forward again. Donovan receives the ball nicely. Navias gets it to Sacco. Gets the cross in. Surely for Donnarumma. But he's missed. What an opportunity that was. Great delivery from Sacco. And Donnarumma just looked to glide it into the bottom corner. But unfortunately he missed. But we're coming through again. It's Navias who turns. Goes for the step over. Takes it past this dude nicely. Still going. Finds Hefty, but it was just had to be Hefty, of all people. He did get the shot on target, but it wasn't going to threaten the keeper in the end. But now we're coming forward, Rodriguez to Hefty. Through, Rodriguez is going to hit this, oh what a save. The clearance is going up in the air, Caputo heads it down, but it's smacked away. Only as far as Pascal, who controls it extremely nicely. Now here's Rodriguez, gets himself a bit of space. But he's tackled. And they're looking to bring it away. And it looks like we just cannot get any points from today's episode. They're coming on the break. They could seal it here. Calderoni up against Sacco. Great tackle by Sacco. And maybe now we can break and look for the one last opportunity. But it's cut out. And now here come Navarro again through Makeda. Great tackle. Rodriguez is going to get there first. He switches to Sacco. Maybe there's one last roll of the dice for us. Rodriguez, Donnarumma, now Caputo into Donnarumma. Oh, the ball was on to Rodriguez, but he's tackled. And now, as Navarro bring it forward with just two minutes of injury time, you'd think that's probably the end, despite that great tackle by Fournazier. There's full time. No points from six in today's episode. An extremely disappointing result. And surely you'd think now Kiavari will take advantage of that. And they may not have done that fully because they've only drawn with Salerno. But they will have taken second spot. Which is extremely lucky. And now Pescara are catching us. They're only two point they're only one point behind us. There was another team two points behind us. But now we're gonna have a look at the youth squad to try and cheer us up a bit. We've got some decent looking players like Federico Mariani and Giacomo Mariani. Maybe brothers, I don't know. But yeah, they're both looking very good. One a goalkeeper, one a central defensive midfielder. Rossi don't look too good. We're actually going to release him. But yeah, some decent prospects in there. But that'll be it for today's episode. A disappointing one. Hopefully we'll bounce back in the next one. I hope you did enjoy it nonetheless. And if you did, please do drop a like. And don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye.